the laid back island of Ladig, Seychelles. Presented by Holidays on Shoestrings. A 15 minute ferry ride from Preslin, jam packed with school children, off for an excursion, and we were on the island of Ladig, which lies east of Preslin Island. I found it one of the best laid-back locations in the Seychelles, just 5 kilometers long and 3.3 kilometers wide. Its small size made it easy to commute around the island and everyone was on cycles. I made a beeline to the renowned Anso Stargent Beach, so familiar as we have seen it in countless ads and movies like Castaway and Crusoe. The absolutely breathtaking, imposing, towering granite boulders form the backdrop of this beautiful beach. The mixture of shallow, clear water, golden sand, and the huge granite formations made it one of the most picturesque beaches anywhere in the world and was well worth visiting. Sitting on the beach, I was fascinated by a crab that was digging out a home for itself. Then, on to Verve Special Reserve, lying in the center of the island. This is the breeding ground of the Seychelles Paradise Flycatcher, a critically endangered endemic species which immediately catches the eye thanks to its deep blue color. The striking long black tail of the male also brought about the name verve, which means widower, for the species. It is estimated that only about a hundred of these magnificent birds are still around. They are found only in Seychelles. Even if you are not an avid bird watcher, you will be struck by the peace and tranquility of this reserve. The verve special reserve is comprised largely of thick jungle where Bodenmien and Takamaka trees are prevalent in large numbers. Hiking the trails through the reserve not only affords the opportunity to view paradise flycatchers, but offers numerous other animals and plant species, many of which are endemic to the Seychelles, and include the Seychelles sunbird, the Seychelles bulbul, the Seychelles Blue Pigeon, the Seychelles Swiftlet, and the Seychelles Fruit Bat, to name a few. There are several walking trails punctuated with interpretive panels about flora. After a short break for lunch, I set off for a long trek past the jetty, stopping at the flag point for a small recce of the island. The base of the pole had the constitution set in metal on one side and the emblem of the Seychelles on the other. Walking past a few exotic looking resorts, and it was a steady uphill trek. Once past the resorts, I chanced upon the beautifully kept Ladig Cemetery, located up and over a hill with a large hill backdrop. Most graves had colourful silk flowers and the grounds were well maintained. It was interesting to walk through some of it just to get an insight of the local history. and then on to Ansevier Beach, which was a long stretch of coast on the western side of La Dig. The beach was crowded around the juice bars, but there was a more secluded spot a short walk away. Ample shade from the large trees lining the beach was fantastic. But looking at the dead coral lying all around was really saddening. 
thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and tell your friends about it.